Shea has recently began kickboxing and purchased training equipment as modeled in the diagram below. The total weight of the bag pole and unfilled base is 270 pounds. The cylindrical base is 18 inches tall with a diameter of 20 inches. The dry sand used to fill the base weighs 95.46 pounds per cubic foot. To the nearest pound, determine and state the total weight of the training equipment if the base is filled to 85% of its capacity. So understand that we are only filling the base. We are not uh, taking into consideration of the um, of the contents within the bag itself. Okay, but we are told that the total weight of the uh, of this equipment here is 270 pounds. This is without this is without the uh, the sand being put into the base. So at the end of us figuring out uh, the total weight of the sand, which is filled 85% of the way, right? So in other words, we're finding out the volume and weight of that volume up to 85%. Uh, we're finding out what that is, and then we're going to add that weight to the 270 pounds. That is the total weight of this uh, whole, whole equipment. Okay, so we're going to find out what is the volume of the cylindrical base, which is, uh, and because we're modeling this with a cylinder, the volume of a cylinder can be modeled by the base, area of the base times the height. So the area of the base here is a circle. So it's pi times r squared. So r in this, in this case is going to be 10 because it's half of 20 times 18. So that's the total volume of the cylinder. However, because we are only filling this up to 85%, we're going to be multiplying this by 0.85. And that will give us the volume of sand that, um, that we are filling the base up with. So once we have the volume uh, of the sand, we can then determine the weight of the sand that's going to be in there. So let's do that. Let's figure out what this actual volume is first. So I'm going to enter that into the calculator. So I'm going to go to our calculator now. So I have pi times 10 squared times 18 times 85%, so it's 0.85. So that would be 4806.636. So V is 4806.636. We're gonna round at the end because um, the final answer requires us to round to the nearest pound, I believe, 637, I should say. So I'm gonna round to the decimal point that they want at the end there. So the volume is this, and uh, we're also given the density of the sand that we are filling this thing up, up with, and that's 95.46 pounds per cubic foot. Uh, so right now, the volume here is in cubic inches, right? So we need to convert this into cubic feet to match that of the units over, um, that we're given, 95.46 pounds. Or actually, we can even convert this given density here. So I'm going to write over here that the density is 95.46 pounds per one cubic foot. Let's say I wanted to convert this into cubic inches, what would that be? So 95.46 pounds, one cubic feet is equivalent to 12 inches cubed, right? This is what it means to have one cubic foot. It's equivalent to 12 cubic inches. So I'm gonna use this as my conversion instead of the 95.46 per cubic feet. So I'm going to take my volume information, which is 4806.637 inches cubed. And 
I want the interest cubed to cancel and I want my final units to be in pounds. So the 12 inches cubed will be in the denominator and the 95.46 pounds will be in the numerator. So you can see here the interest cubed will cancel. We're no longer going to have interest cubed. If I distribute the cube there, I'll have 12 cubed inches cubed, right? That's what it means to have 12 inches multiplied by itself three times. I'm going to end up with 12 cubed inches cubed, okay? So the inches cubed will cancel, and the only units I'm going to be left with is in pounds. So I'm going to take that number that I found a moment ago, multiply that by 95.46. So multiply by 95.46, and then divide by 12 to the third power. And that would be 265.533. 265, but they want us to round to the nearest pound. So that would be 266 pounds then. Let me see here. Yes, that would be 266 pounds.